Can drinking a cup of hot chocolate have an effect on leukemia? Well, that question came from a relative of a patient who believed that this regimen would help based on information that he read in a newsletter. What did that say? Well, it stated that researchers at the University of California found that participants in a study who drank a chocolate drink made with a type of cocoa powder twice a day for 30 days had twice as many stem cells in their circulation as the control group. So does this research support the argument of drinking cocoa as a treatment for leukemia? No, but let's see why. Leukemia is a disease in which stem cells produced in the bone marrow undergo a mutation and turn into cancer cells that multiply rapidly and crowd out healthy cells. One form of leukemia treatment involves killing the cancer cells with radiation and chemotherapy, followed by a stem cell transplant from a donor's bone marrow that will then mature into healthy cells. In the study referenced, patients with coronary artery disease drank cocoa powder drink every day for a month that contained 750 milligrams of flavanols. This is a family of compounds found in various plant products that have been associated with health benefits, mostly due to their antioxidant activity. Subjects in the study showed a small drop in blood pressure and an improvement in blood flow as measured by the dilation of blood vessels in the arm. The rationale provided was that the flavanols caused an increase in circulating angiogenesis cells. These are related to, but are not exactly, stem cells. Stem cells can differentiate into any kind of cell, but these circulating angiogenesis cells, or endothelial progenitor cells, as they are also called, only have an effect on the endothelium, the single layer of cells that line blood vessels. They send out signals that cause cells in the epithelium to proliferate, and that leads to easier dilation and better blood flow. However, progenitor cells are not the same as stem cells that are used in a stem cell transplant. Anyway, leaving that aside, there's also the question of how the 750 milligrams of flavanol used in the study compare with drinking cocoa or eating chocolate. A 100 gram bar of chocolate, and that is a lot of chocolate, has roughly 150 milligrams of flavanols, although that's variable because flavanol content depends on how the chocolate is processed. Cocoa powder has anywhere from 30 to 130 milligrams per teaspoon, far from what was used in the study. There are cocoa extracts sold as supplements and capsules, and these can have anywhere from 5 to 800 milligrams of flavanols. They may have some merit in terms of reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, but any claim that they increase the number of stem cells that can be of any help in leukemia cannot be supported by evidence. Some pleasure may stem from a couple of cups of cocoa, but unfortunately, connection to stem cells is a spurious one. And that for today is our cup of coffee. Well, maybe it could have been a cup of cocoa.